Hi there. So the purpose of this hopefully short video will be to help musicians who want to stream their music online through Zoom meetings, optimize their audio settings in such a way that they're getting the best possible sound. Zoom by default will do a lot of things to compress your voice, bring softer voices up, louder voices down, so that everyone's talking at a comparable level and remove any kind of background noise that it hears so that it can better switch between who's talking. Um, the problem with this is that when you're playing music, it will treat your instrument as if it is background noise. So maybe you've been in a Zoom meeting and someone's trying to share a song. They start to sing and play, and for just a moment it sounds good, and then their instrument is gone. So what we're going to do is look at settings you can turn on to, or disable actually, to allow more of your original sound to come through. This isn't new information, it's all out there, um, but with so many people trying to share music right now, I figure the more the better. Um, I'd also say that the best possible setup for something like this is to have a dedicated mixer or sound source, like a, um, an audio interface, that you can select as your input in the Zoom settings. Um, these settings will help if you're just sharing through a webcam, but not as much. So. Um, when you're in a Zoom meeting, let's see, you're going to see options at the top or bottom for muting and unmuting your microphone. Next to that, there will be a selection arrow where you can select your microphone and your output speaker. We're going to focus on audio settings. And with those up, by default, you can see here um, we have automatically adjust volume under microphone settings. The first thing you want to do is uncheck that. And you might also want to make sure that if you do have a dedicated sound source that you have it selected here. I think by default it might select your webcam, so just something good to check. Once you have this automatically adjust volume turned off, you have an input slider here that will allow you to adjust how much of your signal is coming through. And just like a digital mixer, you can see this input level is showing um, the signal. So what I, what I would do is probably sing and play about as loud as you're going to and just watch to make sure that that is not peaking out. And then adjust your slider so you're getting as much of your sound in as you can without that distortion. Um, once you're done with that, under Advanced, there's an Advanced button in the lower right-hand corner here. Um, show in meeting option to enable original sound is off by default. You want to check that, turn that on, and I'll show you what that does in a moment. And then under audio processing settings, um, suppress persistent background noise, you want to disable that. Suppress intermittent background noise, you want to disable that. And echo cancellation, you just want to leave set to auto. If you ever have any questions about what you've done and want to start over, you can always restore defaults as well. So those are the main things. You want to, you want to adjust these settings, enable your original sound, and then make sure automatically adjust volume is unchecked. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. Now depending on how the host is set up, your original sound may be on by default, but when you go into a meeting where you're going to play, um, you want to check. Um, this button will now be available in the top left hand corner. You can see now it says turn on original sound. I'm going to go ahead and click that. and You can see it toggles to turn off original sound. This is what you want. You want to make sure that your original sound is on. And once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. And if you have the ability to record Zoom meetings, I, I think the free accounts have that. I'm not sure, but if you have a pro account, you know, one thing you can always do is record yourself with these setting changes and then go back and kind of listen and you'll hear hear the difference it makes. So um, I guess with that, I wish you all happy playing and hope to see you around.